It's a quick video on the Russian 1895 7.62mm in the gun revolver. This right here was designed in 1886 and was produced until the late 50s. It uh, had about 2 million of them made and it was originally designed by uh, Belgium industrialist Leon Nagant. Um, it actually replaced the 44 Smith & Wesson in, in Russia, which was still being used. The, the 44 was single action. This right here replaced it because this right here is a double action. Uh, this is a little bit different than most double action revolvers or revolvers in general in that the cylinder itself actually moves forward. And it does that because of this strange ammunition. This ammunition is the uh, 30 caliber, uh, 7.62 by 38 millimeter, and the bullet is actually into the case. And it's got this strange head design, and this is a full metal jacket bullet, by the way. Uh, it's got a strange design that allows it, once, well, quickly, if you cock the weapon, the cylinder will move forward. And that right there, in the case of this ammunition, would allow the ammunition, just the very tip of that cartridge, to go into the forcing cone here. And by doing so, when the round is fired, that forms a seal between the cartridge case and the cylinder, as well as the barrel. Now, because it can do that, this is the only revolver that can actually be used with a silencer. And it's, it's a fact that the uh, Russian recon and scout troops use these with silencers. Uh, this was replaced, it was due to re be replaced in the 1930s and ended up being used until after World War II and even uh, up until a few years ago it was still being used in Russia under some certain cases. Um, very infrequently, but it was still being used. Uh, that's the Russian Nagant, and it's actually a, a fine little weapon, it's got a horrendous trigger pull, it's single action and double action, it is extremely slow to reload, um, it's normally sold with the holster, and it's not sold with ammunition, but there's a pouch right in this holster right here, and that pouch holds uh, 14 rounds, and also the front of the holster has a cleaning rod. Now, it's not terribly accurate, uh, it's on par with other weapons that are 60 years old. Uh, it is a metallic cartridge, so um, it's not a bad weapon, it's, it's worth the money, and you know, if you find one, they're great collectors. I, I actually have two of them, one's a 1918 and the other one's a 1944, and even though they're, they're that far apart, they're exactly the same. That's a Russian gun.